Hey, this is my recap of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7, Episode 4 Spoof. There it is. Um, so first of all, look at my face. I'm wearing almost no makeup. Can you see? You can't see it, can you? Well, I hope I hope that all the money spent at the dermatologist was worth it. Anyway, um, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded because we have no... Uh, we have no phone, we have no internet, so I recorded it the day after the show, but we don't know when it's going to be actually uploaded. The theme of the episode is spoof videos, and they will be spoofing one of the greatest artists of our time, RuPaul. We should have seen that coming. So they're going to do, they have to write the song, they have to record it, and then you have to do a video lip sync to it. So they just get broken into teams, they go with four or four and three. Uh, Minge, Kennedy, Kasha, and Candy are one. Trixie, Fame, Pearl, and Katya are another. And then sort of the leftovers are Max, Jaded, and Violet. Once again, Violet is just really kind of a stink face. So Jaden, uh, Violet, and Max do Sissy That Walk, which they changed to Get Ready to Clock. That was the song from last season when Adore... Um, Courtney and, uh, 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 Bianca Del Rio. Sorry, she's like my favorite ever and I forgot her name. Anyway, they did Sissy That Walk, so they do it like in costume. It's actually a really strong idea. I think it was one of the better done ones. Jaden does awesome. Violet's just kind of the same way she is with everyone. She's like snapping back at Lucian. Just kind of, just difficult to work with. Kind of reminds me of... Um, the, uh, the other Tyra. Remember her from season two or three, four, something like that. Just constantly got kind of a stanky attitude and giving them trouble. So anyway, they go ahead, they do the video, comes out, I'll say, I'll say probably one of the stronger ones. Then Minge, Kennedy, Kasha, and uh, Candy do Let the Music Play, which they changed to I Got Paid, and it's all about all of RuPaul's um, stuff that RuPaul does, you know, the, the perfume, the music albums. I mean, I totally respect that. Like, let's get our product out there. Let's sell this brand. Let's make money from it. They make a joke about Drag You, which RuPaul was, like, pretending that RuPaul was going to get upset about, and I was like, you cannot... You cannot make a big deal out of people making fun of your show. Like, that's kind of, you know. And they didn't, and that was, um, that was good. Meh. And then last, Trixie, Fame, Pearl, and Katya, and Fame and Pearl, con you know, had a conflict the whole time. They did, I want to tan with you. It was okay. I felt like maybe they didn't push the joke as far, and, you know, a couple of them were really good. I personally am still really struggling to keep everyone straight. It's just so hard with, like, I need them to wear name tags the entire episode. Maybe with a picture of them in drag or vice versa when they're in drag. I need it, like, the entire time. I just, I, we still have a million, we still have 11 of them. And I'm like, I don't have time to devote every day, all day, watching RuPaul's Drag Race to try to memorize. And then they, you know, they switch looks and I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, we end up, the they don't judge by teams, which they haven't really done this season, which is kind of strange to me because I feel like it lowers the anxiety level of the group. If you know you're going to be judged individually, then you can totally let your teammate fail. When you're being judged as a team, though, I kind of feel like, eh. But I guess maybe it keeps you from coasting if you're on a strong team. Anyway, they pick out the best from each team, which was Katya, uh, Jaden, and Kennedy. Oh, and Kevin, Kennedy... Sister is Sahara, Sahara, Sahara Davenport, which makes perfect sense. Kennedy Davenport, Sarah Davenport. And I've been sitting here going, why does Kennedy, why does Davenport sound so familiar? So, duh, we got it. Um, for those of you who are behind, Sahara Davenport passed away. Um, I never really, I, I had heard that they suspected it was drug use. I, I'm not going to say that that's a fact. I haven't bothered to, to Google. In fact, I can't because I don't have internet. So that is the stars of the group, Katya, Jaden, Kennedy, they go home. Kennedy's the winner. So good, good for Kennedy. We end up with Fame, Minge, Safe. So all five of them leave. We end up with our bottom being Pearl, Trixie, Max, Violet, Candy, Kasha. 
So they kind of all get various degrees of you're not standing out. So Pearl needs to loosen up. Trixie's not really standing out. Max. Uh, we keep seeing Max with gray hair. Categorically hot work. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what that note says. Violet. It seems like it's a, like she's above it all. Candy got lost in the group. Kasha does this sing talk. Oh, and it's Ethel Merman. Kasha was awful singing. Anyway, I'm sorry. My notes have gotten progressively smaller. So Max, Violet, and Kasha are safe. We get down to Candy, Trixie, and Pearl being our bottom. In the end, let's see. One of them safe. So Pearl and Trixie. So Candy was safe. Pearl and Trixie go on. They're they're friends. Um, they do the lip sync. I felt that Trixie was a little campy. I felt like Trixie gave it all. Pearl had this like these weird like jolting motions that was kind of like a robot was short circuiting in time to the beat. But it, it was like like I kind of they mostly showed Trixie and Pearl just kind of felt like uh, like I don't really think it's that great. Pearl won, though. Trixie's out. Um, I didn't agree with the thing, but I can't say that I am so heartbroken. On the other hand, because I didn't... We're still at that point where I kind of don't know everyone. Every, you know, a lot of them are blending in. At this point, you could really pick out four that are really strong, and that everybody else is just kind of fluff, which is not what you want in a drag queen. So anyway, I will see you guys next week. Please watch. Please comment. Talk about the show with me. Tell me how I'm absolutely wrong. I don't care. Just do something. Okay. See you guys soon.